Another round of delays and cancellations this morning after a travel nightmare played out at airports across the country this holiday weekend. Now, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is putting the airlines on notice. This weekend, his own flight was canceled, forcing him to drive from D.C. to New York City. The secretary is now pushing the airlines to do more to fix the mess, warning that the government could step in on behalf of frustrated flyers and force airlines to hire more workers to solve the problem. Adam, I'm going to start with you on this one, because one of the problems the airlines are facing is the high cost of jet fuel, not their fault, more the administration's fault. The other problem, of course, is, is what's happening in the labor market. And even though those numbers look very strong, as, as we discussed, um, there are still shortages in, in some industries, and that's a problem that's plaguing the airlines right now. Well, you know, if, if, if you roll back the tape uh, about 18 months and, and remember where we were in the middle of COVID, uh, there were a lot of airlines that actually were um, forcing pilots to effectively take uh, voluntary um, dismissals, layoffs, etc. And now all of a sudden, fast forward, the economy comes roaring back. You can't just bring those people right, right back in. They have to be recertified. That takes time. And so there's some very structural issues that are unique to, um, uh, to the airline business. And I think that's really what's creating the issues. You can always charge people more for uh, airline tickets to make up for jet fuel prices, and they either will or will not yeah. pay for it. At the moment, they are. But that pilot shortage is a real problem. That's a great point that you make about bringing the pilots back. It's it's like turning the oil rigs on. It right. it's not, doesn't happen with a light switch. Um, Angela, you know, on this issue specifically, I will tell you, I've been avoiding airports because I, I can't deal with crowds, and they're packing planes because fuel prices are high, so there is literally not one seat, um, you know, open on a flight. It's just been difficult for travelers who do need to get um, to different places, whether it's vacation or business or, or whatever the case may be. Um, but people are, you know, feeling the pinch of this. It's not been pleasant. We just got rid of the mask mandates, so you think maybe there'll be less outrage and uproars on planes. But people are angry about a lot of other things. It is certainly a tough time for the folks who work in the air travel industry. And quite frankly, it's a shame that the country that pioneered air travel is now running out of pilots. This pilot shortage was absolutely exacerbated by COVID for sure, but it was brewing long before anybody had ever heard of the coronavirus. So what's a transportation problem today was really an education problem five to 10 years ago where we knew and we should have seen coming that just not enough people were going into this field. You can't just pull pilots out of Thin air. They require a lot of specialized training. I know for sure. I want a pilot that has had you know training to the max. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, an interesting thing here with, with Secretary Buttigieg and his flight getting canceled. He jumps in a car to drive to New York. This is the same transportation secretary and part of the same administration that keeps telling us how great Amtrak is and how we have to have trains everywhere. So I've taken the train from D.C. to New York quite a few times. I'm very curious why Secretary Buttigieg just wouldn't do the same. Yeah, um, it is a very good question. I'm not going to speculate or, or comment on that. I will leave the viewers to draw their own conclusions.